Hello everybody, James here. Right, it is the evening of the last day and I have recently finished. So the last model was Yeshira and um, I think she came out really well. So let's give a whole uh, overview. So we've got the Sorrow Spites, four units. One of them being the Elder Soros Fights. So they took a while, but that is. Um, I took a lot of shortcuts, especially with the armor. Um, it's pretty soul destroying <laughs> doing the armor on the, all of those. Um, took a long time, but by the time I got the um, extra colours on there, it's starting to brighten my mood a bit, so it sped up. Um, then I did the Dread Terrors. One and two. Then I did the Devourer. And I started to incorporate the trim again. So I ended up um, basically just painting in between the trim. And I also started introducing this Absolution Green, which I think is a brilliant colour as well. And then today I did Yashira. So she is still drying off, but um, I think uh, she came up really well. She's um, kind of inverted since these guys are more traditional. This is the more traditional colour for the army, um, but she is of the Slaneshi type vibe. So um, instead of blue armour, she is actually going with the pink. And the skin is actually gold. Um, the base actually took a fair amount of time as well, actually. But in the end, I went with a really simple um, goldy yellow colour as well on that. So that will probably be the colour that I go for in my Gorkog when it arrives. So... Yeah, I'm quite happy that um, I was able to do it in the time frame that I, I gave myself. And um, I can't wait for their first game in a couple of days. I have improved the uh, army list as well. So I've added the units that haven't arrived yet. So obviously we've got the Dread Riders, the Oathborn, um, the... The jump pack ones, I'm going to call them strikers. Um, but um, so they've been added into the list. Um, I need to uh, add the HQs, all like the remaining ones, um, and see if I can give them a bit more uh, going on. At the moment, they've got things like, like toughness, um, their weapons. One of them has fear, but um, outside of that, there's nothing really to make them very unique. So I'm going to spend some time on that. And um, hopefully, yeah, the game in a couple of days will go well. And then I'll start on the next one. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I'm thinking some of the elite packs so the smaller bundles because i am now going back to work i've got some time off in or will have some time off again in november so then i, I will then um start on the next big pack and we'll try and get that done over the week um and then i've got some time over christmas as well so all of my 
all my holiday was actually saved until these last three months um, so that um, I could actually get some painting done. So, yeah. There should be actually, by the end of the year, or by New Year, I should say, a significant portion of all of it done. Um, at least three of the... Um, the big packs, the war packs, um, and then I'll see how much of the elite packs I can I can do in the meantime. But yeah, so far so good. Thank you for um, watching and give, giving me the um, thumbs up on my um, uh, semi daily <laughs> uh, video uploads and. Honestly, the Ravage stuff, um, Reddit, um, actually looks like I'm spamming it. <laughs> so, sorry if you think I am, but um, I just wanted to show you my uh, my progress. And there's, there's not a lot going in, going in the um, forum at the moment. So, I'm, I'm hoping to drive up um, the um, uh, what's the term. Um, participation so um, hopefully if you've got Ravage Star um, you will be uh, incentivized and maybe this will give you a bit of a, a kick to, to start painting and to show it off because I would love to see it I'm sure many others would as well okay thank you very much everybody have a good day bye bye